What's up everybody? Uh, today is day two of boring. We just got up. We're headed to the, sl the slope. Uh, it is 8 a.m. and we are about to shoot the Yeti course, I'm, I believe. Um, today is going to be challenging. It's a little wet out surprisingly because it was supposed to stop raining early last night, but we're all ready to go. There's a bunch of people up already. Um, we got all of our stuff. It's going to be quite a challenge. I got my big camera and my tripod. But they don't call it the Total Archery Challenge for nothing. So I got my long stabilizer, my target bow. I'm wearing my hip, hip quiver. And we're gonna see how this goes today. I'm gonna keep, oh I didn't bring my score. I did bring my scorecard, okay. So I can keep track today. And we're gonna see what kind of score we can get and see if we can do good. There's 25 targets today. They are gonna be 75, no, 20 to 75 yards. So that's gonna be fun, I think. I'll correct you later if I was wrong. So we just made it to the start of the mountain. We are on the knock-on course. We just came off the ski lift. This is target number one. From right here, you have to shoot that fallow deer all the way in there, which is a whopping 56 yards, which is only half of the max. So this this course will get us up to 100 yards. So I'm only down to four arrows before we even start, so that's gonna be interesting. Hey, you yeah, hit foam. foam. <laughs> so we made it to target three. Uh, I hit high on both the last two targets. Jack missed just a little high on both of them, but I got my arrows. he got his arrows back, so that's what counts. Dad hit both of them decently, so if so for some reason it's really cold, it said it was supposed to be nice and not raining, but you know it's cold and raining, so you can never trust the weather in Michigan. Hit. Oh, that's... I hit it. I hit it. Oof. So we are at our first 100 yard target of the day. Uh, we are on target five, I want to say. So that's 100 yards from where Jack is to the uh, target, so. It's gonna be interesting. Um, just lost my bow jacks out there, had to go get them, so I'm already out of breath, so it's great. Uh, got the big camera set up, so that should just cut right to that footage. Oh, right in the foot. So we were on the sixth target. Um, we just found one of my dad's arrows. We shot this pheasant, which is pretty cool. Um, I did lose an arrow on the caribou shot, which kind of sucked. Um, but I'll look over that footage and see where it went. We looked up over it, which is where I thought it went, but we don't know. Uh, it's going good right now. A little rainy for what we were thinking, but it's having a good day so far. There you go, nice shot actually. Boom. Oh, we're not finding that. Yeah, it is. Went right to the right, right. Good shot. So we made it to like the 10th target. I think we're somewhere around there. Uh, just lost another arrow to a hog. It was a great shot, but when I shot, my arc hit a, a tree limb, and we don't know where it went. So now, down to two arrows, I'm which is, seeing. yeah, target eight out of 25. And we have a course tomorrow, too. We're we going to Jay's. Yeah, we got to go to Jay's and get some more arrows, because not looking so good. Well, the first blew up an arrow last night. Wasn't expecting to do that, so that was fun. But we're just working with the situation we got. So how was your experience at Total Archer Challenge, Jack? Exhausting. I've missed a lot, but I found all my arrows. So, so far. I'm doing good. I'm tired. This is a, the most wooded total archery course that I've come across. I mean, we've been in the woods shooting long shots through targets you can't range because there's so much stuff in the way you can't get an accurate reading. But I haven't lost any arrows, so good day. Well, because last year we had shots like, I don't even know how you say it, 
So it was like from over there to over there, but it was like wide open. So you, I brought the big camera because I thought we could get some cool shots of the arrows going through. We haven't got any of those. They all been super tight and your arrows are gonna hit almost every limb you shoot at because it's been so tight. So hopefully it opens up or maybe the course tomorrow will be more open. I don't know. I have to see what happens. Okay, the one nice thing about this shoot, I will say, is you do get some pretty nice views. That's pretty cool. But let me tell you what, if you, if you know anyone that's ever done this and they said it was easy, they were lying. Because, huh. man, we just trekked up a hill. So that was not fun. They make but, man. it 10 times harder than it has to, too. We could have gone right yeah. through one part of it and... No, That's what makes it challenging. So, shoot this one. I think it's Jack. Here's some of the ski slope. There's the hotel down there where base camp is. We're all the way up here. Shoot a little bit. Nice shot. So, we are officially halfway through the course, I think. I mean, the knock on signs here, so I'm pretty sure we're halfway through. and. I'm still at two arrows uh, left, um, but I think my luck's gone better because uh, we are on the knock-on course. I picked up somebody's arrow to try to give it back to him when we get back down, and it happened to be a knock-on arrow. So maybe it's the luck of the knock-on course, but who knows. Uh, this one, it's a pretty pretty steep shot all the way up there from here. Um, going to be fun. We'll see. Beautiful stance. That is. Boom. And now uh, we got a shot uphill. Yep, up there. Deer. And we're at a, finally at a water station. It took them long enough. On target 14, we finally got one. Man, we started way over there on the trail, and then we had a hike up to this mountain, and then way up here, and then all the way up, and then straight down, which it doesn't look like there's that much elevation, but man, that is straight down coming down. And it sucks. My big toes hurt so much just because you're going straight down or straight up this whole time. Like this on camera, it doesn't even, this doesn't even look like it's got any elevation. Man, in real life, that is straight Where up. Where are you going, Dad? Nice. Wow, nice. Woo, barely. So we are on the last shot of the knock-on course for the day. We shot 24 targets. This is the 25th one. And we were wondering why there's a bunch of people over, over here. And we figured out why. So you can't really tell. All the way up there, there's a jackrabbit that's 109 yards from the cone. So, and it's really windy out here. You could probably hear it in the camera. But we're going to try to go for it. Uh, just send an arrow. I don't know how close it's going to be, but you guys can see on the big camera. It's going to be quite a send. <laughs> 